Hi everyone, welcome to another drawing video. This time I'm making Tsukishima stickers. I've already made Kuro ones and Kaima ones. If you want some, you can always pop by my Etsy shop. Shameless plug right there. But anyways, Tsukishima is a character I never thought I'd actually like. He's not typically the character I go for. Usually I like the really cool one. And Tsukishima is kind of... It's kind of a nerd, but kind of a mean nerd. And I never thought I'd like him, but he's just kind of claimed my heart now, and I don't know what to do. So, thus here are stickers. It's also because sometimes I see some fix of some Kuro and some Suki, and it's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie, it's really cute. So if you want to get a pair of them together, that's what I've been doing, just kind of like sticking their stickers next to each other and being like, oh, look how cute Kuro and Suki are. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Done with my fangirling. So as typical, this picture was done on Bristol paper first, which I scanned in Photoshop, manipulated, and then colored in. And then after that, I would just print it out and I cut them up individually. So everything, all my stickers are hand cut. Maybe eventually I'll move to a Redbubble store and you can get them bigger and kind of, I guess, a little better, but I like the whole hands-on aspect of making my own things and selling them. So your support would be greatly appreciated. So anyways, I guess I'll talk about little brushes. Brushes I got from a Tumblr. Sorry, I can't remember exactly whose Tumblr I got them from, but they're, they're decent brushes. They're kind of hard because the opacities on one of them is really weird, which it will just it never is 100% and I'm just like layering and layering and layering and like it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. <sighs> yeah. So I take some care into each sticker. This one I wanted to just focus on Suki. If you look at the Kuro and Kenma ones, they have little cat figures of, or cat stickers of each other. But Suki, I always think of dinosaurs. So I wanted to include a lot of dinosaurs and also his name. Shiba means Moon Island, or I believe Moon Island is what it directly translates to. So I want to include some stars. Tsukishima is so cute. Yeah, yeah, and also he's in a, a dinosaur onesie because I could not resist putting him in a dinosaur onesie. It's just too dang cute. Too dang cute. Oh. And some headphones for our always antisocial, tall boy, our tall son, Somi, Somi brand, of course, only the best for him, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll talk about why I've been kind of MIA lately. I've been really busy since school picked up, like extremely busy. I've had an art class that I've been making stuff for, which doesn't really go on this channel because it's not what I like to aim this channel towards or I'm thinking of. So I just generally put my speed paints and my little tutorials on here. And the art stuff is just kind of like reflecting on my personality, I guess. And this is more just kind of businessy, a little bit, with a little bit of fun stuff mixed in. But I'll put a art piece up soon that I'm doing for this class. It's pretty interesting. It'll be on Hikikomori. And I don't know if it'll come through in the artwork, but I had to do something related to something else in my class or another class that I've been learning about. <coughs> Excuse me. That I've been learning about and I'm taking a Japanese family class and this was something one of the lectures or one of the articles we had read was about. So I decided that's something I've always wanted to kind of do. And I'll talk more about that when we get to that piece. So anyways, moving also on to school, I I guess I can talk about my decisions as of late because it's also a bit of a diary for me. I am actually majoring in anthropology, I think. My dad's always like, you got to get a good degree. And I'm like, well, it's not an art degree, but it's a liberal arts degree. And this is something It's not an art art degree. It's something I've always found very interesting, but I've just been never sure of how to like get there and 
taking this class this semester has definitely pushed me in the right direction and I'm very excited. It's an Asian families class and the professor's very smart. He's very cool. He can speak, he speaks Japanese and Chinese fluently and he's really cool because we'll be walking around and he's like, oh sorry, what did you say? I got distracted by their conversation over there and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. He's just like, also he's kind of like father, like not like daddy, but like lame joke kind of father. It's <laughs> like, did you, did you really just say that, professor? That was the, the lamest joke I've ever heard. But then you just kind of laugh because it's it's literally the lamest joke you've ever heard and you don't know what else to do. But he's a really cool guy. If you ever decide to come to university, maybe take a class in that kind of stuff if you're interested. Very interesting. We took a tour around downtown in Chinatown and he gives a little history. Very cool stuff right there. Also, getting this back to the drawing. But yeah, my major is intro. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little bit of a mess. My major is anthropology. I'm most likely minoring in Japanese, maybe art. Maybe art if I have the time for it, but definitely anthropology. And I've also decided that I, I really want to continue doing art. I Sometimes I just get such an, uh, little like hole i bury myself in a hole where like i can't do anything i'm not good at art enough to do this stuff and no one even pays attention to me and here i am right now with 24 subscribers on my youtube channel and i do feel kind of like no one really cares but i care and i'm gonna continue to make it because i'm having fun and i i feel pretty crappy when i'm not having fun and that's kind of how i feel sometimes in university that i'm not really enjoying what i'm doing and I'm just doing it because this is what I've been taught to do. I just kind of follow what my dad has told me to, in a way. Mm. Okay, getting too personal. Putting my personal information out there. But anyways, I like these shoes. I always try to put a little detail into the shoes. I don't know where I found this reference from. It's on somewhere on Google. And I was like, those are my Pisukishima shoes. So I just imitated them as best as I could and there they are so they all have identical shoes the fine details in this I put too much effort into all my things I made this months ago I made this back in July and now it's November so I'm looking back sorry <coughs> I've also been a little sick I've got a, I got a cold that's also why it's been taking me a while to put voices to these videos I don't have to force you to listen to my cold voice so if you hear a little bit of something something in my voice that's what it is me being a sickly little girl yep yep that's about it also it's really crappy if you're not careful having to go over every single line and adjust how you've colored it because you've colored outside the lines and you don't know how to color inside the lines and you're supposed to color inside the lines. That's just me though. I I am so bad at that. But he's cute. He's a cute boy. And I do my best for Suki. Suki, I'm here for you. If you need any help, Suki. Just you know. HMU. Boo. I hope he likes his dinosaurs though. My goal with the stickers is also to have them be a little interactive. Like, I don't know. You could have Suki and Kuro next to each other, and or Kuro standing next to Suki. I just kind of want them to be like buds. Like maybe I'll do a special if you buy three, buy two get one free, kind of thing. Because I think we all just look too adorable together. Suki, Kuro, and Kenma. Mm. Kenma, you started me on this path, and then I had to draw like everyone. <coughs> yeah, that's about. That's about what I've done. Drawn everyone. Also, if you're into my dolls, because I'm into dolls, I'm into BJDs. I don't have a channel separate for that. But I had got a new SD head, and it's a Switch If We Are. If you don't know who that is, maybe look him up because he's really cute. He's a nice sculpt. I just ordered him a body, and I'm very sad because I've just lost a lot of money to that body. He's gonna be so beautiful, it doesn't really matter. I hope he's gonna be okay. 
that's my only goal in life is to have pretty dolls and to have good art that people like. And another goal, which is also why I'm majoring in anthropology and minoring in Jap Japanese, because I want to go abroad and study stuff abroad. I think the world's really fascinating, and I think people are really fascinating too. So hopefully, I can realize my dream of going places and learning a new language. Because I love Japanese, I'm just, I have no motivation to do things sometimes. That's also why I haven't done art in a long time, because I just haven't had the motivation to do it. And I go back and see it, I'm like, I really miss doing all of this stuff. It looks like so much fun, and it is a lot of fun. But it's not, it just takes a lot out of you when you're not feeling it. But anyways, here are the stickers. You can buy them on my Etsy. If you support me, I will love you forever. And thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.